Hey, what is up my beauties and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying locks over locks, like the two strand twist locks method over my own locks. And so um, I just want to show you guys the way that I'm doing it. And I hope it helped you guys if you guys ever decide that you want to do this style as well. But for today, I will be using the Cuban Twist hair. Um, and I believe the length is, what, 24 inches? Yep, super long, 24 inches. And um, But I did not have my hair um, this long. I went ahead and um, cut the hair in half. So here is how it looks. So this is the length that I will be using for my entire head. And also, I, I only have one pack. So I'm trying to see what I can do with one pack um, this is um, some leftover hair that I've previously had and so what I'll be using to twist and moisturize my hair is some water and um, some moisturizer and also I have a bottle full of different oils that I put together and I will be using that as well so right now I'm just going to go ahead and just spray my entire head with some water and this will just um, just moisturize my hair then I'm going to go behind that with just some moisturizer and even moisturize it even more and now I'm just going to go ahead and start with the back of my head you guys see that I have a mirror in the back and then I also have a mirror in the front and so this is just helping me to see the back of my head but I'm going to go ahead and just complete this process off camera because it's going to be too difficult to record and so I'm just going to come back once I get towards the front of my head. Alright you guys, so now I'm at the top of my head and you guys can get a better view and see exactly what I'm doing. So right now I'm just parting my hair and I apologize for the sucky lighting you guys. I had to put away my ring light because I packed up everything because I'm getting ready to move. And yeah, I'm just looking back at this and I'm like I would never make another video without my ring light because yeah, the lighting is not the best so I apologize about that but yes you guys can see um, so this is how my parting is looking I got some work to do in the back and so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue parting my head as I'm parting I'm also spraying some water on my hair this is just help loosen up my hair and to also just to make sure that I'm not just pulling on my hair and ripping my hair out but let's go ahead and get into the twist and let me show you guys how I went ahead and applied the Cuban Twist hair onto my locks. So I went ahead and sprayed some more water and put some oil on each lock and then I went ahead and twisted and then applied the clip so it can stay. And then I went ahead and took another section or another lock and did the same thing, repeated the same step and put a, um, another clip on that one. And then I went ahead and got my hair ready, um, the Cuban Twist hair ready. Um, so I can go ahead and apply that to my locks once I got that ready I went ahead and took the clips off and now I'm about to go ahead and just twist my hair and I'm twisting in the direction to make sure that my hair doesn't come undone and you can definitely tell which direction is the right direction so if you go in the wrong direction which I've done plenty of times just take it back down and twist the other way and so now I'm applying the Cuban twist hair and I'm making sure that I'm twisting the Cuban twist hair on my locks the same way that my lock my locks is being twisted and then once I do that a few times on each side I'm going to go ahead and combine each side and make a twist and then as I get down to the end of the length of my own lock, I'm going to add more of the Cuban twist hair and continue the twist all the way down until I get the length that I want. Once I reach my desired length, I'm going to go ahead and bring the hair back up and create a knot at the end of my twist. And then I'll secure the knot with the rubber band. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys once more. And I hope you guys are able to see this a little bit better. So you guys saw that I applied my the water in the oil and now I'm just twisting and then adding the clips to both of my locks that I just twisted. And then I'm getting my Cuban twist here ready to add onto my locks. Once I have that hair ready, I'm going to go ahead and twist my own hair a few times. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and add the Cuban twist hair. I'm twisting the Cuban twist hair in the same direction that my locks are twisted and I'm doing that a few times on each side and then I'm going to go ahead and add both sides together and create a twist and then I'll twist down a few times and then I'll add some more of the Cuban twist hair as I get to the end of where my lock ends and then I'll go ahead and twist all the way down and then once I reach my desired length again I'll go ahead and bring up the remaining hair and create a knot and secure that with a rubber band I really hope that made sense to you guys I really tried to simplify it as best as I could and explain that as best as I could since it's really hard to see since my camera isn't focusing on my hair it's really focusing on my um, whiteboard in the background but I really hope that um, you guys understand what I am trying to say this hair size is really easy you know once you get the hang of it you're gonna catch on pretty fast now I'm at the point where I'm like running out of hair I really thought that one pack was gonna be enough but this is all the hair that I have left and look at all the hair that I have on my head that needs to be twisted like I only have enough hair to do three more twists and so I just figured that I'm gonna do the ones in the front because I don't have an option to go to the beauty supply store the next day because I have a flight to catch and I'm not gonna want to do my hair whenever I get to my destination because yeah it's just gonna be too much so um, I had to improvise so now I'm just working in the front and that way I figured I can do a ponytail like a half up half down type of thing or I can just pull all my hair up in a ponytail if I want to. That way you won't even be able to tell that the middle is undone. So even though I won't be able to have enough hair for the middle, I'm still going to twist my hair in the middle. I'm still going to do the two strand twist for the middle. I just won't be able to add any extra hair in the middle if that makes sense. So just stay tuned. Um, you guys are going to see the process all right you guys so now I'm pretty much done you guys can see that the middle of my hair don't have the extra hair added on to it but I'm going to go ahead and just put my hair in a half up half down type of style and that way you won't even be able to tell that you know I didn't have enough hair because I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck away the hair that's short but you guys let me know what y'all think about this style in the comment sections below if you like it make sure you guys go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel already make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on another upload and I'm also going to include another clip in this video from a different um, video that I plan on doing for like my traveling slash moving vlog but I'm going ahead and include that um, so that you guys can get a better look of how my hair looks and it's this clip right here it's just me talking but you guys can see how the lighting is better in this clip you guys can see my hair a little bit better but yeah thank you guys i will see you all on the next video i appreciate you guys for tuning in Mwah! see you later